последнее, о чем хотелось бы вам рассказать, это... The last thing I would like to talk about is the energetic damage called possession. Possession belongs to the programming type damages, only attacks on a much higher level. A possession is something artificially made, in the sense that if a large spirit could be a program that once was alive, a possession is never a living program. It is a program of belonging and more precisely, of voluntary belonging. A possessed person professes a certain idea, and an artificial idea in particular, and usually does so with a touch of super-significance and mysticism. The adepts of different religions, the adepts of various cults that belong to some magical or mystical order, sooner or later receive this type of program. These programs act similarly to a lodged spirit, with one difference, that if lodging is done by affecting the buddhic body, piercing through all the lower bodies, then here it affects all the higher bodies. This means that in this case it is the causal and mental planes that are of interest. Someone who is possessed by an idea is compelled to function similarly as the rat we spoke about for the cat, or in other words, he has to spread this idea among everyone else. And the latter, in their turn, contaminated with this virus, start reshaping reality according to the action of this very program that we call possession. And as a rule, it is very hard to get rid of such a program, because one needs to be granted the right, so to say, to receive a spoilage. And I mean to incriminate oneself. Same with the curse, you must incriminate yourself somehow in order to receive it. There is always self-incrimination involved when it comes to crown of celibacy, lodging and possession, and the last one is usually always voluntary. A voluntary agreement to the fact that you will be the carrier of this idea. Just like that rat infected with toxoplasmosis is in love with a cat that will devour it, so is a possessed person in love with the world that will annihilate him because he carries a virus that can be deadly and destructive for this very world.